This is Mike from MindFlows, a certified Monday.com partner. In this episode, we will cover the item settings in order for us to pin columns, add conditional coloring rules, adjust the height of our Monday.com item rows, and to change the item default values. To open the item settings, look for these three dots. Let's start with learning how to pin columns. Once the settings panel is opened, simply select which columns you wanted to pin or freeze. In this example, we pin the name and owner columns. After saving to this view, we can see that both columns remain frozen when we scroll to the right. Next, let's take a look at how we can adjust the row height. To do this, simply select which row height suits you best. These are the three options you can choose from. The default row height is set to single. If you want more space, you can choose either double or triple. The next feature we will cover is conditional coloring. This will be the third option you'll see from the left. To use this, all you'll have to do is to create your conditions. In this example, we'd like to see all cells with no process owner. The first step is to define if you want to set conditional coloring to the cell or to the entire row. Next is to set the condition itself. To summarize, the condition would be set cell color to yellow if the owner is not assigned. Let's try another one. This time, we'd like to change the row color to pink if the status is either future steps or working on it. This is how the conditional coloring would be set up. Please note that in the case that we're using, we can select multiple status options as our conditions. Last but definitely not the least, this is where we can adjust our item's default values. This means that every time a new item is created or added in this board, it will be automatically pre-filled with the values that we define here. With this knowledge, you will be able to level up your boards. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at MindFlows anytime.